Hello. Hello. Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, that sounds fine. I was a bit concerned. I thought that sounded a bit weak at first, uh, at first go around, but okay. As I know, everything is working fine. Here we go. Hello, macaroni pay. How did you do? It's okay. The journeyman's way leads to the Apostle's Shrine. Well, I'm glad that you're doing okay. Did you go to the gym today? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you go to the gym today? Can you hear me okay? Just in general? Just checking. Hello Sniper, how's it going? Indeed. Long time no see, I hope you're doing well. Fair enough, macaroni. Research on mice. Have you decided which uh, mouse you want yet? And what you're going to call it? I wonder how you get that. Can you just jump for it, I wonder? Yes, you can. Find the gold key to ascend. The gold key. Hmm. Are you ambidextrous? I don't even know which type of mouse I have. <laughs> like in terms of like if it's a specific kind in that way. What way do you hold your mouse? Macaroni? In general? Do you like put your hand flat on it or do you like claw grip it?
We'll go high first. It's funny, like, I was looking at mice a few years ago. And I saw um, one of the, I don't know, just some bloke talk about a mouse. And um, he was talking about claw grip and whatever, like, the other, like, sort of main type of grip was. And I didn't even realise that I did that until he mentioned it. Like, I've just unconsciously held my mouse like that for at least 15 years. Fingertip? How does that work? But yeah, like... I didn't even really realize that was a thing. I just did it. By accident, really. Kind of always held it like that. I have no idea. The protectors cannot stand weapons of chaos. This was probably at least four years ago. The mouse that I have is a Logitech G403, something like that. That might not be 100% correct, but something along those lines. Hello, Landlord John. I hope you're doing well. Those who are lost never look upwards. I've never had a wireless mouse, I've always used wires. Well, I had a wireless mouse and keyboard at one point, but it actually, in certain games, it lowered my FPS, so I chucked it. Well, I didn't chuck it, but I don't know what I did with it. But it, it came free, I think, with something. I might have been whatever PC I was using at that time. I think it came with the PC, but I didn't like it. That, that, what I'm talking about now was 15, 16 years ago, something like that. But yeah, ever since, I've always been put off by that. It's like, ah, uh, I'll just get one for plugs into the back. <laughs> I don't need, it, it doesn't matter. Like, the, the, uh, I can understand it if you're one of those people who uses their PC as like an all-in-one entertainment device. Like if you use your PC in the living room, I sort of understand wanting to have a wireless mouse or a wireless keyboard. But like for me, I, my mouse and keyboard are literally right next to it, so it's just, there's no point in going wireless really. I'm still using the same five pounds keyboard from Tesco I bought 11 years ago. Actually, I've been saying this for years, so I should get a new one. Like a new keyboard. Nothing that fancy, but just, I don't know, something a little bit nicer. Just for the crack. Hello, Fred. Always oh, lovely to see you. See, in my prime macaroni, when I was an absolute beast at CS. I use a bog standard mouse, not a gaming mouse at all. And I was better than most people at that time that I played with.
I used that mouse so much. I eventually got rid of it. It's around the time when I got the mouse that I'm using now. Though actually the first the first mouse I got, the first version of this mouse I got, the uh, the G403. The first one I got broke pretty quickly. Well not it wasn't super quickly, but I think it was like a year or something. Which was a bit rubbish, but I <laughs> instead of getting a new one, like a, a different mouse, I got the same one again. I don't know why. But it's been fine. This one has lasted quite a long time now. Well, compared to that one anyway. But yeah, I guess I, I, guess I got a bit unlucky with the, with the previous one. Oh yes, yeah. My, that would happen to me if I accidentally bashed my mouse off the keyboard. <laughs> that would cause the laser to go a bit haywire. And uh, in CS you would be like spinning looking at the grind. Good times. Yeah, I think my mouse was double clicking. My mouse that I had for work had the opposite problem where you would need to double click to do a single click. Yeah, it would kind of suck to have the, the scroll wheels not working. The first mouse I ever used didn't have a wheel on it at all. It did not, it just didn't have a wheel. The first mouse I ever used, it just had two buttons and that was it. Why would I use that? When this is so much better. But yeah, it did the tail connect with it to the back of the the uh, computer. I think it's a bit slow because I was a bit lost. sure where it wants me to go from up here. Oh. Simple as that.
Fire makes the vine creature stronger. I'll keep that in mind. Quite subtle that effect. It doesn't really bother me. The protectors. That's not how you spell protector. That is incorrect. Lie in wait for those that would traverse the sacred path. The protectors. I just hurt myself for no particularly good reason. Bunch of goodies in there. What is what? The path is before you. The path is before you, you must ascend. I don't know. The lore is too deep for me to understand. Find the gold key, I've, I've done that. No, definitely not. Well, there you go, Fred. It's obviously a uh, example of product placement. This game's been out for three years, and they haven't fixed that yet. I'm starting to think my mouse move's going a bit funny. I'm just scrolling down, but yet, as you can see down at the bottom, it's not scrolling very well. <laughs> Mouse wheel isn't a good choice for an FPS uh, game anyway, the switch weapons. You should always use the numbers. to select the weapon and then press mouse 
to like select it. What would you change that thing? The giant protects the way. They spelled protect right here. It should be protect. I thought by default you could always use the numbers as long uh, with the, the uh, mouse wheel. Just like this game, you know, I'm using the mouse wheel now, but at any point I can just go. Painful to watch. Remind me to not stream Counter Strike for you then, Kappa. Correct. I've got better games to play than that crap. <laughs> Quite bright here, isn't it? Yeah, I know what you mean, Macaroni. That's a great game. No secrets. Embarrassing, huh? Apostle's Shrine. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Ow. It doesn't blow up.
a legendary soul. The key is to look. This level has eight secrets. Check down there in a moment. Well, that could have went better. There's a thing there. Big gaping hole. Oh. way to get that is. I mean I'm not that bothered about it. Really. I don't even actually want the item. I just want to get the secret for the hell of it. Let it go. Oh, definitely did not mean to use that. Pineland BFG, pretty much, yeah. It's not great. I don't like the way it looks. You ate already? A bit knackered after all the hanging and banging you've been doing. <laughs> yeah. Well, as long as you remember to say your prayers before you start hanging and banging, I think it's alright.
Don't, 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 don't. I think I'm quite mixed on the uh, music in this game. I think some of it's brilliant and some of it's just a bit average. Okay, macaroni. Is okay. The reflection of water only shows in the surface. Shows the surface, rather. Really. You need the gold key. Quite a good game, quite good graphics, quite good clouds, man. I like the clouds in the background, man. Good shit, man. You need to have at least 12 brains to figure this puzzle out. So there is no way back. Is that a leading question, Macaroni? What do you think, Fred? True, Fred, true. You're not wrong. I must escape the darkness from Anon, Anon, Akon.
The pure soul is like water. Everyone has good memories of being in the club. Dancing with a fit bird listening to that song, eh, Macaroni? You can't crawl underneath that? Get out of here. Yeah, I don't know, this sort of episode has been pretty dull, hasn't it? Especially considering the uh, previous ones were... Like the last couple were really interesting to look at. Cistern. Everyone likes a good cistern. Everyone knows about Serious Sam, but what about Will Rock? Any Will Rock fans in the audience tonight? Well, yeah, indeed, Fred. You are quite correct.
Yeah, not really feeling this uh, episode. It's a bit pedestrian. No, that is a fun fact, Brian. Did your old rat make grunting noises as well? Doing pretty well with secrets in this level. I guess I'm making up for my lackluster performance in the previous one. Fair enough, friend. I just thought I would ask, you know. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Who are you going to ask it to? Phone a friend. And who are you looking the phone tonight? Me? Oh dear. Well, I'll try my best. How much money are we going for here? Long ago, the Apostle lived here. He studied the heavens and was worried. He left the place for the, for the haven. But he left this place for the haven. One hundred million dollars, that's a lot of money. Oh, that's good fun, isn't it?
This is not good. Yo, Vodster, I'm on like 100 mil, and the question is, do all hit my old rat Mick grunting nose? What do you reckon? <laughs> well, I have to say, Vodster wasn't very helpful there, was he, Fred? I'm sorry, but I really don't know. Some of the front of friends were useless. But... I'm sorry, I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. My inkling would be to go for Bob, but I really don't know. What's going on here? This game, look at these hardcore puzzles it contains. Yeah, I'm doing this in the wrong order, isn't it? I don't think that can happen. I think the way it's done, I don't think that can happen. But I could be wrong. That level is crap. The Pilgrim's Temple lies ahead. I mean, I'm just saying what everyone's thinking. Isn't that right? I was really getting, you know, on this game side yesterday as well. Only one who worship who worships can enter.
what's up here? Oh. I'll take that. Hello, Blue Dandelion. How are you? Yeah, I'm okay too, thanks. How is the uh, book drama going? Very well. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I was meant to make that jump or not. <laughs> well, sometimes I can't do it. But I do appreciate that. path craving to learn the pilgrim started his journey to the sacred world Hello, Dark132. I'm doing fine, how are you? In the Sun Realm, he detains the teachings of the light. However, he cannot see the darkness, or see darkness arising from underneath arising is that a word i know arisen is the word but arising okay, i mean i guess so Is there an evil difficulty achievement? So that, that's BS basically. Are you saying that this game has made it some sort of. Yeah, it says arising? Yeah. Hmm.
Unbelievable, huh, Fred? Locked. What have I achieved here? No respect for the English language. I mean, you don't have any respect for it either, judging by your spelling of language. Language. Tale foreshadowing of the dark times. Yeah, I think this game's overrated. I'm gonna say it. What is that? Oh, come on. <laughs> nice red. Are you playing CSGO macaroni? Close one macaroni. See when you raise the bot, bot macaroni, did you? you like, what kind of integer strings did you use? No comment. I see how it is.
What do you mean, unwilling? In what way? I see. Not necessarily. I don't know about that. You should have played it on uh, Evil Difficulty, Dark One it sounds like. Hello RT, how are you? In the Moon Realm, he received the teachings of the night. However, he cannot see the depravity corrupting the doctrine. In the arcane expanse, he finally realized the corruption coming out of the void. However, it was too late. Lyria sounds so much better than that. So much better. Lyria sounds exciting. Yeah, it's probably similar to how Quake has like a secret difficulty. Secret area found. Wasn't very secret. It's true, isn't it, Fred? Like, this is dull. Like this is so dull. This looks nice. But blimey Charlie, it's dull. That that looks very nice. I'll give it give them props, that looks great, but yeah. The combat's just not getting out of second gear here, is it? His spirit twisted by the void and the pilgrim, a mere dust of dreams? Question mark.
Is evil knowledge sustained? The fallen pilgrim soul will never find peace. Alone and desperate. They could have cut this episode, I think. Hello, Blaze. You've missed me complaining for one hour. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Yeah, you've missed absolutely nothing. Nothing of note has happened. Like, see what I'm doing right now? That is what you have missed. Those who follow the pilgrim's steps are doomed to face his reality. One more to go. <laughs> it's not saying much. This is where I came from. <laughs> the magic ones, yeah. A 
locked. I fail. There's no denying that this is a great weapon. Do you know who I haven't seen in a while? Infernal Monsoon, I hope he's doing alright. I'm surprised you're not banned already, Macaroni. <laughs> Go for it, Blaze, that would be good. The last time I mentioned book drama, people redirected me to you, Fred Gant. Hmm. Oh, that's the end of that level. I don't know, these levels end so unsatisfyingly. Not a word. But like. It just ends, like, you expect it to be like a massive battle at the end. Like a big sort of exclamation point to the level. But instead it's just like, ah, oh, you won. Load of shite. <laughs> nah, it's not that bad, I'm just being a bit grumpy, don't mind me. You're being watched. <laughs> Infernal Monsoon is far too kind. Yeah, that's fair enough. I just, yeah, I hadn't seen him in a little while. See you later, Macaroni. Enjoy. Enjoy the Fubble Bubble, yes. Hanging and banging all by myself. Sorry, but you couldn't find anyone to hang and bang with.
Well, luckily, it would be a rock that doesn't seem to do that much damage. At least on normal difficulty here. Oh yeah, look at that. It's clip free, everything. <laughs> well, some of it's clip, you know, you walk through. Sometimes, some of it, not so much. Okay. So where are we going to now? Oh. Well, apparently we're falling into a hole, into the descent, in the darkness. See, let's go. This is, this is better. This is more like it. <laughs> yeah, she would be. But yeah, this is neat. Oh no. Don't remind me of that game, please. I've just went around in a big circle. Yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going. I'll just have to figure it out. This is where we started. Okay. Well, I've, I've uh, figured that out, at least.
Here, okay. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind that because at least it, it's visually interesting. The last episode was very standard, I thought. See, that was cool. I like that. Only 81 enemies in this level. See, that looks cool. I like that. I'm gonna do a quick save here. And then I guess I'll jump into there again? Maybe I should... Fill this up. I do think some of the progression in this game is needlessly weird. Needlessly esoteric. That looks great, by the way. Very cool. Kitten marmalade. That should be an emote. Hello, reptiloids. So, do you think this game is a masterpiece, huh? Interesting.
I definitely disagree. I think it's good. But I don't think it's great. The previous episode I did before this one was really, really boring. Like, super boring. <laughs> I probably was, Blizz, to be fair. No, it was the one where you fight a uh, tornado at the end. It was rubbish. <laughs> yeah, it was like a crap serious um Yeah, the colors in general are really, really good. Like, artistically, this game is really good. Yeah, I agree. Dark one. I would say Dusk comes pretty close. As far as modern games go. I mean, I'm not surprised you don't remember it because it was not very good. <laughs> that entire episode is. I think they could have taken that episode out, honestly. Yes, I saw that. Um, Blues, yeah. Yeah, I, I might replay it again with the different textures. Why not? Why not? Any excuse to play Dusk is worth it, right? Dusk is one of those games, I played through it when it first came out and I loved it, and then I played through it again last year, 
And I think I like it even more now. Which is strange. Yeah, that was pretty cool, Reptile. See that sword? It's crap. This eye class is it in every way. Like what? It's the same thing with this. I never use this. I always rather use this instead. They sort of do when you're in uh, soul mode or whatever you want to call it, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like, um, I guess it's kind of like the super shotgun in Doom 2 in terms of like damage or whatever. It's just it's so much better than the single barrel, but at least in Doom the single barrel is good for like saving ammo and it's more accurate too like this is accurate this like star thing and ammo is not really an issue so it's like yeah whatever <laughs> you know right on cue it just gave me full ammo mm -mm -mm. That's it. The, oh my goodness, the, the levels in this end so anticlimactically, it's unbelievable. Like, did you not understand, like, having, like, a big battle at the end, really exciting, big monster comes in, it's just like, no, you killed two guys and it's over, it's like, what? Oh, it's so lame. Hostile Paradox. This looks nice. I like that. Are you an enemy? I can't tell. I think so. But yeah, this area looks great. kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, just, just end me, please. Just, just die. Uh, yes. Let's try that again. Oh, so it's... Oh! I don't know. I'm confused. Let's load again.
<laughs> I don't mind. Automatic lifts. I, I understand what you mean, but... I can't say it's ever annoyed me too much. Yeah, no, no, uh, no problem, friend. Well, you might not have to do that anyway. <laughs> I should use this. That's not. It always gets me a quake because if I go up one back then it's really awkward to get it back down again and it won't go down while you're on it. And when you try to jump on it, it immediately starts going, yeah, I know what you mean, for sure. It's a fair complaint. Like, what is that for an enemy? Okay, let's go through here. Ooh, the red zone. health is not very good. What lies ahead is reaching for you. So this is where I just was, right? So many options. Delivery key, okay. So we'll go back. Or maybe not.
Green, green, yellow, yellow. Is that a clue? Let's see if I can remember that. It was indeed a clue. Oh, nearly fell. Careful. I don't know how to get back to there. Did you like uh, Apocrypha? <laughs> Reptilite. <laughs> I think it's hard to make uh, fantasy themed weapons good, and I think this game does it very well. Yeah, it's 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 crap, wrapped alone. <laughs> it's rubbish. I wouldn't bother with it. It's one of those games when you first play it, and you're like, oh, it's not too bad, but then you know, half an hour real later, you realize, oh god. It kicks in at that point. You realize, oh no, this is not going to get any better, is it? There's a level in that game that's extremely long and it had like over a thousand monsters on it, I think. That game's a mess. And it's clearly like unfinished as well. They clearly just kind of ran out of time and money and put it out. Oh, I fell. Saved it though.
interesting flooring here. I'm not sure how many homes would look good with this. Yeah, I think that that's the game at its best, really, is when it's pushing the uh, boundaries of what the level design can be. When the game is just your typical like arena shooter, that's when it's at its worst, I think. Yeah, maybe I went into it with um, my expectations being a bit too high. Well, that could have went better. There's too much of this stuff as well. You know, they press four switches to open a door. Shtick. There's far too much of that. Let's do this part better. Hopefully I'll lose less health this time around. Or just fall. I can just fall again. Peak platform and welcome back, Macaron. I was the shower. Did you hung and bung in the shower?
That's what I like to hear. That is something I do not do. I do not do any uh, singing in the show. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> Hello Pekka, how are you? We have the earth at the moment, selected, I just noticed. That looks pretty. Fair enough, Macaroni. So you felt the need to kind of be a bit more, uh, I don't know, courageous. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine as well, thank you. I'm not getting any secrets at the moment. Just none. Okay. This looks scary. Is this the chasm we're playing right now? Spinning platforms. This looks fine. Is that the Sandy Peterson? Hello, Sandy. Map 24, the chasm. It's a good level. I like it. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't, but I like it. If you want the chasm, Genshin Impact is the game for you. I don't think so, Macaroni. But thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> if I want the chasm, I'll stick to Doom 2. Thanks. Oh, thank you very much, Sandy. I much, much appreciate it. I like it, macaroni. It's something different. That's what I like about Doom 2. Each map felt very uh, different and they were pushing new ideas with every map, I think. Yeah, I can understand that, uh, Macaroni. But again, um, I think it was cool that they were able to make those at all, you know, for the time. Okay. What can I say? I'm a big fanboy. A big Doom fanboy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I probably shouldn't be using that. Probably a bad idea.
But then again, these guys are kind of tanky. No clipped in Half-Life? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> Why do you do these things, Macaroni? I can't imagine Macaroni playing something like uh, Hexen. Yeah, Reptiloid, I know what you mean. Even though I think, you know, there's definitely some episodes in this better than others. I think the fact that each episode has its own distinct look and feel along with its own sort of unique enemy roster. I think that really helps the game a lot. I think if it all basically looked the same with the same monsters over and over again, I think it would have gotten pretty boring pretty quickly. But because it has so much variety, I think it really helps this game. Your soul is ours. Well, that's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> well... <laughs> they weren't lying, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably use the uh, BFG equivalent, which I actually haven't been using much in this game at all. I don't like the way this weapon looks, it just looks like something you'd buy at a... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think the actual, like, weapon is cool. The gift from it, yeah, I don't know. No, I haven't been using it that much. It's good, but I just, I don't know. I haven't really needed to use it that much. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really feeling the design of that. But, yeah. It's like Scythe 2, in that respect, it doesn't overstay its welcome. Episodic, episodic format still works sometimes, and this is a good example. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think that's the epis you know, the episodic uh, format works best like that. I think at each episode should always have its own theme. Even going back to the original Doom, you know, first episode was like tech based, second episode was like tech based with a little bit of hell influence, and then obviously episode three is full blown hell. What's my favorite weapon design in this game? Um, I mean, probably the Trident. It's just cool. And obviously, this is amazing. So I would say this, the, the Celestial Claw. But yeah, I think most of the weapons in this game look pretty cool. I'm just not a fan of the... Uh, this. <laughs> Hello Illuminati 777. How are you doing this uh, marvelous evening? That is not good. Yeah, I should be using this more. Like really. <laughs> I should really be using it more. Oh, splendid Illuminati. 
You can let me know how long that lasts before it ends up in the recycling bin. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense, Dark One, and you were playing it on hard as well. This is just on medium. Nearly fell there. Yeah, I just, you know, I keep telling people to not battle macaroni. It's just a great way to lose points. Unless you're Tony the Pirate, is that true? Whenever I was 20... Oh yeah, for... <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. When you see a bunch of enemies in front of you and you're just like... I can't be bothered doing anything with all that. No, I, that's the wrong weapon. Whatever. <laughs> I wanted to pull out my... Uh, morning store torment thing. That's a snake question mark? I don't, I don't know what that was. Oh, I fell. It's fine. Yeah, no problem, Pekka. Thank you for stopping by, and uh, happy lurking. Um, I'm not sure what the best weapon would really be for this. I mean, I've been using this, but it's not very strong. There we go. I'm sure Illuminati is talking about Superman 64, right? That's what people mean when they say SM64, am I right? I agree with that statement, RT. Illuminati is too cool, really. Oh no, don't request Rocket League. <laughs> Please don't. I've already done it before as a game record. Oh, Rocky Legends, on the other hand, I'd be all over that. No problem. Illuminati. This is cool. I like this.
these snake things are a problem. Let's see how well this works on it. Not very well, I don't think. Okay, well, maybe it did work well. Perhaps I am wrong. Where is this lead? A fool? So... That's fun. I don't even know what happened. Um, okay. Oh, I have to fight the, the snake again. Okay. Well, maybe my... Uh... Maybe I should do what I did last time. When fighting the big snake here. Do you not want me to do a quick line percent for you? Illuminati. I, I'm sure there is a story. Do you not have to like play as Rocky Balboa and like beat the meat and all that stuff? <laughs> Sorry. You know what I mean. You know, the bit when he's punching the meat and the, you know, when he's training. You know what I mean. Maybe I'm thinking of the first Rocky. Is there not a meat beating uh, mini game in Rocky Legends now? First Rocky definitely hasn't. The uh, first Rocky game for came out. I know I've already been here. <laughs> really? <laughs> so you have never played the other Rocky, the previous Rocky? Wow, that's that, that's actually such a downgrade. I'm really disappointed in that. Yeah, because um, yeah, the other Rocky game had the uh, meat beating and like there was like a few other different um, yeah mini games. Yeah, that's that's disappointing. That's a downgrade, if you ask me. Is there a, not a speed run? I don't know. Let's go through this portal again. Is there not a um, leaderboard on speedrun.com for Rocky? The original?
You will not escape. Look, Macaroni wins again. I'm telling you guys. You just have to accept that he's gonna win. I've only got 47 health and I just quick served. I don't know if that's a good idea. This looks cool. Good night, Macaroni. Thank you very much for hanging out. And I hope you have a great sleep. We know who you are. This is the heart of all evil, champion. We are with you. Invulnerability power up. As far as that. Hello Chris, how's it going?
so it's healing. I think. Possibly. Seems like that's what's happening there. I'm not sure what's happening. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I thought this game was supposed to be good. Clearly isn't. <laughs> I have no idea what happened. If someone can explain that to me, that would be wonderful. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there, Blaze. Like, I beat it, I think, and then it played a cutscene, and then I died. Very strange. Oh, nice, Illuminati. It looks like Illuminati he doesn't know what's happening either. <laughs> um, I should really uh, quick save when we get over this bit. It's probably a smart, smart play. Oh, I can actually quick save here. No quick saves allowed. Hello, Lido. How's it going? Three hundred degrees. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I am lucky to not be in 300 degrees right now. Oh nice, but well, hopefully uh, it was a good walk. I hope you enjoyed it. It was nice, good. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, walks are fun. 
Especially if the weather is okay. Not so fun if it's raining heavily. Oh no. <laughs> Keep following. That is 100% my fault. And then this bit happens where it sort of sucks everything up. It's pretty cool looking. And then Like it. Um, that's not good. We'll get there someday. sure what weapon I should start off with. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter that much. Yeah, I should probably use this, I think. It does a lot more damage. doing very well here. Okay, see this happened last time. Oh, you have to use the axe there. That's how it works. It's not very clear, is it? But I figured it out the second time.
Welcome, Ooh. champion. Please join us. Looks nice. We are eternally in your debt. You have proven yourself worthy. Thank you, champion. And so now you may rest, champion. With the evil vanquished, we have restored our sacred lands and returned their inhabitants. You may remain here in our haven, or continue on your journeys. The universe awaits. I did it. Thank you, thank you. What do you know about Mobius Digital? Were they, was that the company that existed before they became Rockstar Leeds? Is that, is that, who, is that the right people I'm thinking of? Oh, Outer Wilds. I've heard of it, but I don't actually know that much about it. <laughs> ah, see, I was close, Illuminati. I was close. Come on, you have to give me half a point, surely. If we were on, uh, if we were doing our gaming quiz or something in the future. You have to give me half a point for that, surely. Let's look at the codex. <laughs> no, I did not know that fun fact. Sorry to disappoint you. I always appreciate it when a game... Um... You know, has like a bestiary. I always think that's pretty cool. There you Sam was always really good at that. Oh yeah, I thought this game was good, I enjoyed it. I didn't love it as much as, um, you know, some people did, but that's fair enough. I still thought it was very good and definitely worth checking out if you're into this kind of thing. But, uh, yeah. Now I really appreciate everyone hanging out, as usual. Um, uh, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything lined up. It's kind of, it's not super lit. But it's late enough. It's uh, coming up to quarter past 11. Oh, can't read the time. Quarter past 10 in the evening, so. Not a super long stream, but you know, managed to finish the game, which is good. And yeah, like I did enjoy it overall. Like the weapons are really good, really fun. And uh, I really like the variety and stuff like that too. You know, from episode to episode, I think, like I said earlier, that really helps the, he the game a lot, in my opinion. And, uh, yeah. I mean, thanks, everyone, for swinging by. No, I, <laughs> no, I would definitely say it was good overall. Like, there are some really cool levels in this game. And I think the visuals and all that are really good as well. Really nice lighting and, like, artistic flair throughout. 
but you know I, I just I know going into it like a lot of people were like oh it's amazing and medieval it's like the best thing ever and um you know I think it's good but I don't I don't think it's the best thing ever <laughs> you know I personally you know out of these like recent FPS games that have come out in the last few years I think Dusk is a lot better and I also like Ion Fury more as well that's just my opinion If you guys all, oh well, if you know someone plays it and really likes it, that's completely fair enough. Macaroni says he doesn't like the chasm. I like the chasm in Doom 2. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> thanks everyone. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. What are we going to do next? Well, I think we'll probably do a game request next. <laughs> nice Illuminati. Well, no problem, I guess. You're welcome. Uh, let's get up twitch.television. But yeah, thanks everyone. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day slash night. And uh, yeah. Have a good evening slash day wherever you are in the world. And uh, yeah, we'll be back again in the next few days with uh, one of Fred's game requests. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It'll be something very different <laughs> to this. But yeah, have a good one. See you guys. Bye.